I am so excited for my son's first birthday present. He is going to get the Jumbo Triangle from Casa Kid. Let's do the unboxing and assembly together because I want to show you how easy it is to put together. Just like for their tower, I did everything myself alone and there is only two parts where I would recommend maybe having someone with you but I was able to do it on my own so you will be able to. I first removed the wooden parts which are sustainably sourced beech and birch wood and I organized everything on the floor so I can identify all pieces and I also read the manual before starting the assembly. I always recommend doing this even when things are easy. It makes you understand every little detail and makes things go smoothly. So for example here we have some holes that are full circle when others are half moon and they correspond to the rods which have one side which is round and the other side which is half moon. Now the manual is only two pages, one page is the summary of the hardware and parts and the other page is the different steps. So you know that this is going to be easy. I love when my manuals are one page long because I know that I am not going to struggle. Then I identify all the hardware that I'm going to use and once again it's very straightforward, very simple. There is also one uh, wooden piece that is already put in the parts. So the first step is to assemble each side of the triangle. I want to say if you want to go the fastest, start with the half moon side of the rods. It took me a little longer for the first side of the triangle because I started with the round side. But uh, overall it was still very simple, it's just um, a little tip. So this is the easiest part of the assembly, but you just want to make sure that when you select the corresponding piece to the side of the triangle, that the slant on the bottom of them is in the same direction. So you see at the first, I did not select the right part. So I am just making sure I do select the right part. And as you can see, it slants in the same direction. So when the triangle is going to be on the floor, it is going to be stable. Once you identify the right pieces, you simply want to put all the screws in and then go on to the other side. And before you go on, you again want to make sure that you got the right parts. And then you do the same thing with the other side. I went much faster this time because I started with the half moon side of the rods. And now we are on to the tricky part, which is not that tricky. So you just want to carefully check the manual and make sure that you put the triangles on the right side. So you want to basically imagine it open uh, with both sides open and the triangle part is going to keep those two sides together. So yes, there is a right side and a wrong side to put those triangles in. Now don't worry if you did put it on the wrong side, it is really easy to fix. I am going to show you with more precision how to do that part for the other side, but basically you are going to first screw in the top of this triangle and then we are going to put on that removable screw that is going to help with the opening and closing of the triangle. So first you are going to put that uh, little carved space onto the wooden elevated part, then you are going to put the screw on the external part and the other metal piece uh, into the internal part which is going to hold the screw in. As usual an image is worth with a thousand words and as you can see it is pretty simple and not that complicated. And again this is how it is going to open and close and to keep it open we are going to put that removable screw in and you simply screw it with your hand this is a part that you will screw and unscrew as you use the triangle and as you fold and unfold and then it is time to put the other side of the triangle and this is the part where i recommend having someone with you just because it is going to make things smoother and easier but again i was able to do it myself so what i recommend is putting the top screw and the bottom screw first so then the triangle is stable and then you can um, 
tighten everything and put the middle screw and as you can see this is the reason why you have two of the tools it is to make sure that everything is really secure so take the time and make sure everything is fully tightened so it is safe to play with and then you're done uh, so again this is the jumbo triangle from Casaro and it is 48 inches in length 28 inches in width and 40 inches high so for reference I'm 5 8 and I am able to fit under so this one is perfect if you want your kids to play both uh, climbing the triangle and and being under the triangle and if your kid is tall like my son or if you plan for your kids to play with the triangle for a little while and you want to make sure that it doesn't outgrow them too quickly this size is perfect and so as you can see you can fold it uh, very easily so it doesn't take too much space and you can keep it in a closet for example and here is how you open it so as you can see you will simply open it until the um, hole matches the screw and then you screw it in so it is secure and then make sure it's secure before your kid uh, play with it now the jumbo triangle weights 19 pounds but can hold up to 200 pounds so i tested it myself and it is safe it is great to develop motor skills and with all the different accessories that Casaro has you can make it this adorable little house where your kids can hide in peace and they will love it